Everything I told you sounds like someone who's got some eating disorder. Why don't you feel the same way I feel about you, Vanessa? Why? Max pinned me on the couch and he, he had his way with me. Mom, Dad, please tell me that you believe me. Max Russo, we need you to come into the station to answer some questions. About what? The assault of Yvette Mitchell. What? Let me handle everything. Nothing will happen to our son. What's up, Michelle? I don't even know. Is everything all right? No, Z. Everything seems to be falling apart. It's so hard to sit still right now. We won't be here all night, Wanda. We just have to be patient while Yvette is being examined. Patient? Patient, Udell? Why don't you just ask me to remain calm since our daughter is being examined after some boy brutalized her? Not just any boy. Alvira's own nephew. My best friend's own family. Her, our baby. Okay, Max. Can you explain what happened the night that Yvette claimed that she forced herself on her? My son won't say anything until his lawyer arrives. Forgive them if they're late. He was hauled in here last minute. Why don't we just get a head start on things until your lawyer comes? So I could give you the chance to incriminate my son? Not happening. Does this got to do with what got you upset at the roller skating rink? Are you alone right now? I wanted to let you know that from now on, I'd like you to do your chores before going to JJ's house. I'm tired of cleaning up your dishes knowing that you're spending time with friends. You don't have to worry about that anymore, Mom. I'm not allowed back at JJ's house anymore. What did you do, Keeve? Why do you automatically think I did something? Let me rephrase my question. What happened? I don't even know, Mom. JJ just told me that I'm not allowed at the house anymore. Just remember that Elvira would have never condoned anything like this. I never thought these words would ever leave my mouth. But I'm so glad that she's not alive to see any of this. I couldn't even imagine how something like this would affect our friendship. Don't feel ashamed, Wanda, because I feel the same way too. This is my worst nightmare. Even after all the warnings I gave Yvette, something like this still happened. You're not to blame. I promised Yvette the very second she was born that I would do whatever it took to protect her. Now look, I wasn't around when our baby needed us the most. Okay, Max, let's start this again. What happened the night Yvette claimed you forced yourself on her? I went over to the house. For what? Gianni, I need you to keep quiet and let Max speak. I'll be the one who interjects. Why did you go over to house, Max? Max, you don't have to answer that. Did you go over the Mitchell estate to hook up with Yvette? No, that is not why I went over there. Then how come Udell and Wanda Mitchell found an unwrapped condom on their living room floor. Max, you didn't sleep with this girl, did you? Gianni, please remember what I advised you not to do. Max, we already know you were there. Yvette's parents didn't notice the condom on the floor until after you stopped by. They had surveillance footage, and if no one else entered the house after you went over there, and if the condom was used, then it would make sense for you to have intercourse with this girl. Did you have intercourse with Yvette Mitchell? Yes. But it was consensual. 
I didn't go there to hook up with her, but we just connected and one thing led to another. She's the one who had a condom ready. It didn't belong to me. According to Yvette, you set the whole thing up. You wanted to hook up with her because there were rumors going around that she would hook up with anyone. When she refused, you got angry, pinned her on the couch, and forced yourself on her. Max, you're a junior, and she's a freshman. Do you think it's believable that she's the one who seduced you? I ain't alone no more, but I will be again when I go to my room. Don't worry about it, Zeke. I'll call you later. Bye. Wait, was that your girlfriend on the phone? Yeah, was. Can you tell me her name now? Can you leave it alone, Quinn? Oh, come on. What's the harm? Unless you're embarrassed or ashamed of her. That ain't it. Is she ashamed or embarrassed by you? No. I even met her parents. You already met her parents? But I still haven't even met her? Maybe because you're busy all the time. Then give me a chance to clear up my schedule so that I could finally meet this girl. It's just a name, Zeke. It's not like I'm going to go to her house to ask her for an exclusive interview. Fine. Her name's Nichelle. Just Nichelle. Nichelle Torres. Keeve, people don't just keep someone out of their house for no reason. And the Dervals gave me no reason. The weird thing is that I'm still allowed to hang out with JJ, but I just can't go over his house which I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me either. But again, that family is going through a lot because the Russos are suing them. Exactly. Since they're going to court soon, they might not want you to be exposed to all of that. What do you think, Mom? Do you think Mr. Doval beat up Mr. Esador Russo? All right. I can't blame you. Not being able to protect our daughter is something that I'll regret for the rest of my life. Don't you worry, Wanda. Max Russo will pay for what he did. Whatever it takes, I'll make sure to make him pay. Will he, though? He's a Russo after all, a family full of influence, wealth, power. His mother is district attorney. And if Heidi wants to keep her job, she needs to keep her position and influence out of this. Don't forget, we got as much influence, wealth, and power as the Russos do. They won't end up on top. After all these years, I never imagined that Alvira's family would ever hurt my family like this. May I remind you that my client is a 16-year-old teenage boy? The slightest move has the ability to seduce him. Does that really make him a criminal? Answer me that, detective. You were a teenage boy before. I'm the one asking the questions here, Miss Drake. That's right. Do you have any more questions for my client, other than questions that sound like speculation? From what it sounds like, this is a he said, she said situation. I'll let you go, but it's up to the district attorney's office to decide whether to charge you or not. There's no need to worry about that since no one who works for my wife would dare press charges against their boss's son. Let's go, Max. Michelle Torres? As in daughter of Devante Torres? As in the owner of Theodosius's palace, the biggest business in Valley Park? Stop being extra, Quinn. You know that's exactly who she is. Does she know that she don't come from money or that she don't even come close to having what she was born with? She knows. Like I told you, Nichelle ain't embarrassed by me. Do you think she should be? Of course not, Zeke. I'm just surprised, that's all. But I'm happy for you. You're with a girl who sees you for who you are and doesn't care that you don't share the same social status as she does. That means you've truly got someone special. I wasn't there, so I can't say for certain, Keeve. Just be thankful that Esidor is suing Jeremiah Dorval instead of pressing charges against him. Are you okay, baby? I'm fine. I just want to go home. And that's exactly where we're going. Mom? Dad? Yes, Yvette? Thanks for believing me. We got you. Always have and always will. Don't ever forget that. I really appreciate you helping out Max tonight. I couldn't let my son's cousin get arrested over a lie. Speaking of Alan, I hope you hold up your end of the deal, Gianni. 
I'm so glad you're okay. How are you doing? I'm still a bit shaken up. Oh, Max. You'll be fine, okay? Thankfully, Harley was there to help you out. Most likely to try and make up for what she's done to us. I don't care if she saves this house from burning. She'll never be considered family again. No, no. She won't stop being my mother. Not now, Alan. Now is the time to get to the bottom of this. Why on earth would Yvette Mitchell accuse you of forcing yourself on her? Max, you don't have to say anything else to anyone tonight. Gianni? What are you hiding from us? Max never even touched that girl. Right? Right? Max, you were never alone with Yvette. Right? I... I was. What reason do you have to be alone with any Mitchell, Maximilian? Esador, just back off. Heidi, tell your husband to behave himself. Everyone, please just shut up. Max, what really happened between you and Yvette? Just leave him be, Heidi. He's already been through enough. I want to know why Yvette Mitchell is accusing my son of brutalizing her. What were you even doing alone with that girl anyway? Mom, I... I didn't mean for it to happen. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. For what to happen? I... We were talking and I... I hooked up with her. Maximilian, this day just keeps getting worse and worse. Maximilian, why would you ever consider being alone with that girl, let alone sleeping with her? What were you thinking? No, no, that's the point. Maximilian wasn't thinking. And now she's accused you and has all the physical evidence. Don't blame the boy, Heidi. It's that family Yvette belongs to. Nothing but trouble. All of them. It's over now. The police let Max go and there's no way the DA's office will go after our own. Let's just give Max his space and we can discuss what happens in the morning.